American citizens know that you do not have any lawful right to hack a computer or hack a cell phone or take anything with regard to copywritten word or copywritten creative art. Most Americans know this. They also know that they have to pay for the use of privilege in terms of different types of agreements on artwork and other things that they do not own. The liars of America, the undereducated people of many colors of community don't know this. It's what makes them the easiest fodder for police. The stupid people of America, as I like to call it, is not an insult to their lack of intelligence. It's an insult to the lack of training, perhaps, but really what it is is they're lazy. They didn't go into something with the proper thoughts, but they did go into it with malicious intent. And once they took that choice of to be malicious and malevolent, they did not do things correctly. Maleficence is something where someone is trying to create a malpractice, meaning they're trying to pretend to be someone's business, they're trying to utilize someone's logo, they're trying to create some sort of life for themselves, but it is not done correctly by any means under the house of God. It's also not done lawfully under any concept of business, and every single person participating in the abuse of a human being's life, documents, or possessions can end up in prison. The reality that I'm speaking about is the number of my videos that as the video is processing to go up to my channel, someone is editing. I have not allowed that permission to anyone. Therefore, the employees in a shop that authorizes free Wi-Fi could end up in prison for participating in three lies. The three lies is that they are employed on the job to do what? Not bother someone's computer. The other lie is that they're representing their company. Therefore, the company is now placed within the lie of those employees. And the third lie is the supervisor who knows what they're doing and can't be bothered to fix it. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, the righteous truth of what is and isn't okay in America. And when police officers are lazy and when they think it's okay because they just don't like you either, that doesn't matter because at the end of the day, what God will be questioning is who are you to take away something I have gifted to my child? And I'm asking you that. If God is looking at you right now, Jamie, right now, Darkseid, right now, Tamika, right now, anyone who has played up to me to try to give me something or do something for me without the greatest heart of intent, what does God think of you today?